Soldiers of the Press. This week, Phantom Enemy. This is Reynolds Packard, United Press correspondent in Italy. I want to tell you something about what it was like on the Italian front during the days when the communiques read, No Action of Consequence. Something about the place where doughboys were fighting. It wasn't a place, really. Not a place where you could put a mark and say, Here it begins and here it ends. Not even the boundaries were clear. For mist and fog had smudged the skyline into dim, hazy shadows. War had made grotesque and weird what before was a languid valley. Weather blotted out the rest, soaking the land, shrouding it in clouds, until it seemed as if it were not a place at all. It had been raining for four days. Hard, resistant ground had broken, given way. Rain had become as much a part of the battlefield as the gray hills in the distance. Rain had become the third army on the battlefield. Jeeps slithered off the roads. Pools of water seeped under the tents. The mist was over the battlefield, too, like a sullen gray panther, its heavy paws covering everything. There was little fighting, just small bands of patrols wading into no man's land, hardly able to see each other, like this one. Oh, back it up. Where are we going? Quick, Sand, here. Stick close. Quick, Sand. Quick, Sand, Johnny. Stick close. You okay, Dave? I'm with you. Just tell me one thing. Just one thing. Yeah? Where's the war? Huh? Where's the war? Where's the man with a gun that I can shoot at? Oh, I'd give my eye teeth for something good and solid I could shoot. Well, I'd give mine for something good and solid I could eat. Hank. Yeah? Was your old man in the last war? Yeah, my old man was in it. But he never got further than Virginia. My father used to tell me he got over one of the first. He used to tell me not much, but enough. You know, Hank? Yeah? I guess, in a way, I never much believed it. But I think it must have been a lot like this. Those days in France, it must have looked like this. You know, blind fighting against a lousy mist, sticking up to your knees in mud, crawling on your belly, getting blown up by some hun you can't even uh, see. Take it easy, Bob. Take it easy, will you? You know, Hank, I bet I even look like him now. I bet with this mud all over me, I could be him, fighting the same war, the same way. It's a damn funny feeling. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. He used to laugh when he told me what a lousy way it was to see the France everyone raves about. You know how the travel folders call it sunny France. Yeah. Yeah, I guess the travel folders fooled us, too. Well, I guess they have different weather during wars. The sky's been the same color for four days. I can't even tell whether it's day or night anymore. It's day. It's lunchtime. <laughs> I got my own way of telling. Yeah, well, I'd rather be in a field in bright sunlight where the Germans could see me. Then I could see them, too. Listen, Johnny, I was at Catherine. That was a sunny day. And that was hell. Yeah, I know. But it wasn't blind man's bluff. That's what this is. I want something to put my hands on. Well, maybe you'll get it. Maybe you won't. It's a funny thing about a war. Get down! Get down! Get down. Keep low. That came from over there. To the right. It might have been a blind shot. They can't see us either. No. Say, look, look, yeah. over there. Yeah, you can just about make them out. White shadows. It looks like a, looks like a bunch of them. Shut up and keep down. Okay. Now, if we start running, they'll see us. They're coming this way. If we keep low, we can surprise them when they get close enough. Yeah. Ambush them, boss? Yeah. The fog's on our side this time. Get your grenades ready. Yeah, okay. okay. They look like a ghost patrol. Well, they aren't. You all ready? Yeah, we're all okay. set. Don't worry. Okay. okay. Here they come. You can count them now. Two, three, five, six. Enough to... Shut up, huh? Count to four. Then... Hank! Shut Hank, up! I, I tell you, shut up! Yeah, but Hank! Cut it, Johnny. They're coming close. I know, but Hank... It's our own man. It's an American patrol. Huh? That's right. You... Say, hey, look at him. Say, you're right. Oh, boy. Ahoy, sunflower! Ahoy, sunflower! We were about to take you prisoners. We had the same thing in mind. Nice oh, weather we're having. Yeah, yeah. Nice oh, Oh, boy, is it glad to see you, fellas. So long, fellas. So long. What do you know? Boy, it's like meeting a long-lost friend during rush hour on a New York subway. You can hardly see them anymore. 
like they'd been swallowed up. Yeah. Yeah. Strange place, there's no man's land. Well, come on, fellas. We'll keep on going this way. Okay. three patrols yesterday, didn't they? Yeah. None of them came back, did they? No. No, none of them came back. I was just thinking. I wonder if any one of them even saw the Jerry's that got him. Maybe just got kicked from nowhere. Doesn't seem fair, you know, not knowing what you're up against. Don't let it get you, kid. You know, it's getting so I just like to see a rock or a tree that looked whole or real. Or stand on a piece of ground that stayed there. We're getting closer to enemy lines. From here on, we keep our heads down and our tails lower. Yeah, good idea. Doesn't exactly smell like lilacs down here. Yes, lovely. Shut up, you guys. Huh? Don't forget, we're moving into German territory. Come on. <sighs> Holy smoke. What's that? Get back, quick. A German outpost. What? We practically walked right into it. How many did you think? But eight at least. I didn't count. But they've got enough there to blow us up. Now we can beat it if if you want. We can report the outpost to headquarters. Or we can stay and grab them. I mean we can make a good try. What do you say? I say we make a good try. Beat your life. Well, it's not easy. There are eight of them. Maybe a couple of more. Four of us. But if we work it right, I think we can do it. Say, we can. Uh, Come on. If we split up. Now, one thing we've got to remember. Mm -hmm. The less shooting, the better. We want these guys alive for questioning. I see? Get you, How yeah. are we going to get them without fireworks? Yeah. Oh, there'll be fireworks, all right. We just have to think we're a squad instead of a patrol. Oh, yeah. That's all. Now, now see how this sounds. Go ahead, shoot. Two of us circle northwest of the post. Yeah? One goes over northeast. One advances from here, opening fire. Yeah. Right. Shooting wild and making a lot of noise, see? Mm -hmm. That'll give them a scare. And they'll open up on him. Then a split second later, the others charge him from behind. They'll think they're surrounded, maybe. Anyway, it's worth a try, huh? Sure, it's worth a try. Why not? Good. I, I guess you guys know whoever stays behind to open fire has an even chance of being knocked off. I'd like to do it, Hank. Nothing doing. Listen, Hank, I know you're in command of this patrol. But when it comes to taking a chance like that, we all ought to have a say in about who does it. Dave's right, Hank. I think we ought to draw for it. Okay, okay, uh, fellas. Yeah, let's draw. We'll draw. Here, here's a piece of paper. Kind of daft. That's all right. It's okay. Long straw gets it. One, yeah. two, three, four. Get them ready. Okay. There they are. Ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Draw. Dave? Okay. Take mine. Johnny? All right. Bob? Yeah, thanks. And I get this one. Well, I've got it. Okay, Johnny. Now fix your watches to exactly 2.45. At 2.46, Bob and Dave take the northwest position. Yeah. I'll go northeast. Johnny stays here. By 2.55... We all should be where we belong. At 2.57, Johnny starts shooting. Got it? Yeah, That's it. Okay, got it. Then, a second later, we rush him from two directions. Now, if we've got to shoot, we shoot, see? And Johnny... Yeah. We won't give him a chance to get their aim. Thanks. You ready? Yeah, yeah we're all ready. We're all set. It's 2.46. Let's go. Good luck, Johnny. Here's the war you've been waiting for. So long. So long. The little skirmish in the mud and rain went off according to plan. Hank and Dave and Bob charged from two directions, the German outpost was completely surprised. The Germans had more ammunition and more men than the little patrol, 
but they surrendered. Four men had gone out. Four came back. But only three of them alive. At 2.57, Johnny opened fire. At 2.57 and a quarter, the Germans returned fire. His buddies carried Johnny's body back through the rain. Then they led their prisoners back, too. Their job was over. That night, the communiques reported only minor patrol activity on the Italian front today. It might have been a quarter of a century ago. The men who were over there in 1917 knew the same kind of war, the same misery of rain and fog, the sudden burst of shells, the sudden bitter skirmishes on ground that slid underfoot. Only the place was different, and the songs were different. Then they were heading for Berlin, this time Rome. Not a war of front page action and big battles, no. Just a few men wading into a bleak, dismal no man's land, fighting an unseen enemy, getting hurt, dying. While the word went back to the people at home, no action of consequence on the front today. United Press correspondent Reynolds Packard has just brought you the story of a small American patrol fighting in Italy. Not only in Italy, but on every fighting front in this global war, United Press correspondents are with our armed forces, sending home reports on the stories of courage and endurance that the official communiques must leave untold, sending you up-to-the-minute dispatches on the action that will ultimately spell victory. So look for United Press dispatches in your favorite newspaper. Listen to United Press News on the air. It is your guarantee of the world's best coverage of the world's biggest news.